Ladies and gentlemen, for her bold support of gay and lesbian community before the invention of a gay movement and her superhuman fight against AIDS, I'd like to present the Glad Vanguard Award to my stepmother, Elizabeth Taylor. Thank you from this wonderful award from GLAD. It's the first award I've ever received from a gay organization. And I'm honored and just tickled pink. <laughs> but to be serious, I did not become an activist to win awards. I became an activist to try to protect people. I could not sit silently by just doing nothing. I started my activism in the 80s when a new disease emerged that was quickly and inexplicably killing people. Worse than the virus, there was the terrible discrimination and prejudice that left in its wake it made suddenly, suddenly it made gay people stopped being human beings and started becoming the enemy. I knew that somebody had to do something. For God's sakes, our president didn't even utter the word AIDS for years into the epidemic. So I got involved. All of my life, I've spent uh, a lot of time with gay men, Montgomery Clift, uh, Jimmy Dean, Rock Hudson, who were my colleagues, co-workers, confidants, my closest friends. But I never thought of them, of, of who they slept with. They were just the people I loved. I, I could never understand why they couldn't be afforded the same rights and protections as all of the rest of us. There is no gay agenda. It's a human agenda. of us should be treated the same, and GLAD knows that. Why shouldn't gay people be allowed to marry? Those against gay marriages say marriage should only be between a man and a woman. God, I of all people know that that doesn't always work. <laughs> I feel that any home where there is love constitutes a family. 
and all families should have the same legal rights. including the right to marry and have or adopt children. Why shouldn't gay people be able to live as open and freely as everybody else? What it comes down to ultimately is love. How can anything bad come out of love? The bad stuff comes out of mistrust, misunderstanding, and God knows from hate and from ignorance. Thank God GLAD works to fight this. During my life, I've seen many things good and bad, but the bad things never came out of loving acts, loving gestures, or loving relationships. That's why I'm here tonight, to celebrate you and your families. to tell you to hang in there and say once and for all of, of us, long live love. Thank you very much. God bless.